energy can be transferred between two circuits. For this to happen, circuits should be coupled. There can be three ways of coupling. Conductive coupling, electrostatic coupling and magnetic coupling. Now, let us focus on magnetic coupling. The concept of mutual induction is based on magnetic coupling. Let us see what is this. In the last video, we learnt about self-induction which is the EMF produced by its own flux linking with it. In the case of mutual induction, we should have two coils placed close to each other. As we pass the alternating current, as usual, a flux will be produced in it. Now, if we bring another coil, say coil 2 near coil 1, a part of magnetic flux from coil 1 links with coil 2. So, what happens when a magnetic flux links with a coil? Yes, an EMF will be produced in that coil. Hence, we see the bulb attached to the coil 2 glowing. So, it's as simple as that. An alternating current produces a varying flux in one coil. If this flux links with another coil, an EMF will be produced in it. Let us look at the mathematical expression. We measure the output EMF of the circuit at coil 2. We call it E2. So, E2 is dependent on the rate of change of current in coil 1. Therefore, E2 is proportional to di1 by dt. Adding a proportionality constant m, we have E2 equals minus m di1 by dt. Negative sign indicates that the EMF will oppose the cause producing it. That's the current in coil 1. Here, m is the coefficient of mutual inductance. It is the number of flux lines linking with n number of turns in coil 2 per ampere in the coil 1. We denote flux as phi. If the flux in coil 1 is phi 1, then the flux linking with coil 2 is noted as phi 2. N2 is the number of the turns of the coil 2. Let's say current I1 flows in coil 1, then M will be N2 into phi 2 divided by I1. This is the principle behind transformers where the energy transfer takes place between two coils through magnetic coupling. That's pretty much about mutual inductance. To sum up in this video, we have learnt about energy transfer between circuits, mutually induced EMF, mutual inductance and its formula. In the next video, we will go through derivation of energy stored in the magnetic field.